At one of my recent 3D modeling special interest group meetings, we looked at the project tool, and I was trying to show people just how powerful it was. A lot of people don't use the project tool, and I'm quite surprised. It's this one here. It does do an awful lot of stuff. The first thing I need is a NURB surface. Now I've got a couple of NURBs already created, a couple of NURBs curves, so I'm going to make those into a surface. Loft surface tool, loft with one rail, first click, second click, enter, and OK. So that creates a large NURBS surface. Now in plan view, I actually wanted that surface to be this shape. This is my polyline. If I use my project tool, the project tool has a mold mode that will trim parts out. So click on that one first, then click on my NURBS surface, and then click on the part I want to throw away. I could either take out the middle or throw away the outside. And so that's now created my curving shape. I think this is a lot more fun if we look at this in OpenGL. So let's render that. And now we can start to look around and see what's going to happen. The surface would also be better if it had a thickness. There's a shell solid tool. Click on that and it'll give that a thickness. Now back to the project tool. It's what we really wanted to talk about. Can we take these objects and project them up till they hit the underside of my roof? And we certainly can. First of all, let's have a look at my roof. Oh, it's awfully high, isn't it? So let's just pull that down, grab hold of it. I'm just going to pull it down. That's better. So we need to be able to see our objects and then the project tool. So these started life as a wide flange, but I've edited them so that they're now just a polyline. So click on that. Just watch that arrow. It's pointing downwards. So click on that and then click on your surface and it'll project that up. So click, click, and all you need to do is click on that and click on the object you want to project up to. And it becomes really quick. It's like a, a fit walls to roof, but it's actually just extruding polylines. Let's try this object. When I click on it, notice the red arrow is pointing down. I've got to change that to point up, otherwise when I click on that roof, it won't project up to that roof. What about this object? Projecting that against there. Those are two separate objects. Select them both, right click, add solids, and then I can go back to something like my push-pull tool, and I can select that shape, that, and I can pull that hole right through, and it'll punch a hole right through my model. Which is pretty cool. And if you look at the underside, you'll see those columns have been extruded till they exactly match that floating roof. So that's a quick rundown on the project tool. It's this one here. If you don't use it, certainly have a look at it. It is really, really powerful. Thank you for watching. For the leader in Vectorworks training and manuals, visit learn.archoncad.com.